Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to solve the two examples related to the curvilinear motion in Cartesian and in Cartesian coordinate system. First example. In this example, object travel from the origin and has a curved path of the motions. Okay, and the, the equation of motion for the y-axis is shown. If the horizontal velocity of the object, the Vx, is given as a function of the time, okay, we have to determine the magnitude of the velocity, acceleration, and distance of this uh, object at time 2 seconds. Okay, as you can see, we have the equation of the velocity for the x component. Vx equals a times t. When we take an integral from the velocity, we can find the position or displacement of the object in the x directions. Okay, if I take an integral from these equations, okay, we can find the position of the particles or object in the x directions. Also, based on the graph, we know that the position along the y-axis is follow this or this function okay as you can see by taking integral from the velocity we find the position of the object in the x direction so we can write the position of the object along the y-axis based on the time variables 1 4 4 t square to the power 3 over 7 okay when we simplify this equation the answer is a 2 times t cube okay uh, as you can see we have to find the velocity acceleration and displacement of the object at time 2 second okay for this reason for the position vector we have x i plus y j and if i write this equation we have 4 times t square i plus 2 times t cube j okay so this is for the position how about the velocity the velocity is a derivative of the position respect to the so when we solve this one we get a times t as a i plus 6 t square times j how about the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity respect to the time when i take a derivative from this equation we have 8 for the, we have a constant acceleration for the x-axis plus 12 times t for the j component. Okay, now we have to find the position, velocity, and acceleration of this object at time 2 seconds. Okay, at time second the position of the particle is let me write the equation 4 times t square i plus 2 times t cube j okay so at time 2 second the position is based on 4 times 2 square as the i cube as a j it's meaning the vector of the r at 2 second is 16 i plus 16 j meter and the magnitude of the vector r or the position is 16 square plus 16 square is 22.6 the next one is the velocity. The velocity has a two component. 
is the a times t as the i component plus 6t squared for the j component. At time 2 second, the velocity is 8 times 2i plus 6 2 to the 2 squared j. So the velocity vector at time 2 second is 16i plus 24j meter per second. Okay, and what is the magnitude of the velocity is the square root of the each component to the power t is 16 square plus 24 square. So the answer is 28.8 meter per second. The last thing is the acceleration. Acceleration is the 8i plus 12 times tj. Again, at time 2 second, the acceleration of the object is the 8i plus 12 times 2 as a j. Is the 8i plus 24j, the unit as a meter per second squared, and the magnitude of the acceleration is 8 squared plus 24 squared. The answer is 25.3 meter per second squared. This is the answer of this problem. Next example. Okay. In this problem, uh, is mentioned the box sliding uh, slides down the slope that is described by this equation okay and when the um, x or the position of the box uh, in the x direction is five meter the velocity of the box is minus three meter per second and the acceleration of the box for the x direction or x component is a minus 1.5 meter per second square okay now we have to find the y component of the velocity and acceleration of the box at x equal 5 meter okay this is all the nouns of the problem y is fine but y is given as a function of the position for the x direction okay and the velocity of the box for x direction is minus 3 meter per second when the position in the x direction is 5 meter okay now we have to find the velocity and acceleration for y components okay in this step we have to take a derivative from y positions okay because we know that when we take a derivative from the y we find the velocity of the object at the y component the y prime equal 2 times 0 0.05 x x dot okay so when we simplify we have 0.1 x x dot okay the important thing we can say the v x as a x dot and the a x is a x double dot also we can say the y dot as a velocity for y direction and y double dot is represent acceleration for y direction
Okay. This is about, this is the equation of the velocity. Okay. So now we have to plug it to this equation. The y prime or the velocity for y direction is a point one. The position is five and the x dot is represent the velocity in the x direction minus three so the answer is minus 1.5 meter per second we can say at x equal five meter the velocity of the object for y direction is minus 1.5 meter per second or we can say the magnitude is 1.5 meter per second and the direction is downward after that we have to find the acceleration okay for finding the acceleration we have to take a derivative from the velocity y double dot is represent the acceleration for y directions okay now we have to take a derivative from this equation. Okay, we are involving with the chain rule. We have point one x dot x dot plus point one x x double dot. Again, x dot represents the velocity for x direction. And x double dot is represent the acceleration for uh, x direction. So the y double dot, when the position of the particle in the x direction is 5 meter, is 0.1. The value of the x dot is minus 3 times minus 3 plus 0.1 x as 5 meter x double dot is minus 1.5 meter per second square so the answer of this part is 0.15 meter per second square we can say at x equals 5 meter the axis acceleration of the object along the y-axis is 0.15 meter per second square. This is the another example for curvilinear motion in the Cartesian coordinate uh, coordinate system. Thanks for watching.